How do you test a low power data module? You know the type, UHF, short range, slow speeds. Ideal for things like weather stations, doorbells, and other low power, low speed data applications. The unit here is a TWS 433. On 433.92 MHz, it transmits a low power AM signal. That's in the 70 centimeter amateur band, and I had equipment for that. It seemed fairly simple to use. There's just four pins, ground, positive, data, and antenna. I mounted it on a small circuit board to protect the fairly fragile pins. Though you could also use an eight pin IC socket. Applying power resulted in no signal in the receiver. It took me a lot of searching to realize that I was doing it wrong. You had to have data going into the input pin to get any signal at all even an unmodulated carrier. How do you modulate it if you don't have any data source? It took me a lot of reading and searching to find the solution. Apparently, you could energize these modules by connecting its data input connection to the output of an audio oscillator. And with its AM modulation system, you'd be able to hear that on an AM receiver, which I already had. As for a suitable oscillator, what better than this drone machine? The battery that ran the drone machine could also be used to power the module. I just needed three connections. Supply, ground and data input. The data input lead could connect directly to the speaker. Though, for some peace and quiet at the transmitting location, you might wish to disable the speaker. I've disabled one of the speaker connections and connected a low value resistor in its place. It's around 22 ohms, though anything a bit lower or higher should be okay. The cream colored wire you see goes to the data input of the oscillator module. There's no other parts required, not even a coupling capacitor. This is the level control. When the level is very low, it's not enough for the transmitter module. It comes good above a certain threshold. But if I increase the level too much, that's too high for the transmitter module. All I'm using for the antenna is a bit of wire about a quarter wavelength long. Let's do a range test. This is next door. It is getting a bit noisy and it being a popular frequency for a myriad of low power devices, there's other signals that you can hear. I'm a couple of hundred meters away and the signal is almost gone. But overall, it's quite good up to around three or four houses away. And then it diminishes, but is still audible around eight houses away. So there you have it, a UHF wireless drone machine. Yours for the cost of a simple transmitter module and a AM UHF receiver.